Hi, it's Paul from Trade the Fifth, and this is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday, the 23rd of January. Today, I'm taking a signal from our stocks signals membership. Uh, today, as you can see in our membership area on the 23rd, we've got potential long, potential short fifth wave trades uh, on the weekly, the daily, and the 60 minute time frame. Our members simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for today looks something like this. I've chosen shorts <coughs> and I've chosen the daily time frame at the bottom of the uh, the spreadsheet you can see there are 60 minute and weeklies as well lots of potential daily shorts uh, the, sorry shorts off the daily time frame for that for those fifth wave moves uh, I've chosen just one of those I've chosen UTX United Technologies very weak stock just had recently had a pullback so we are looking at that to um, for a short so I'm using our Elliott wave indicator suite combined with our breakout black box breakout indicator um, on uh, the think or swim platform it's also available for ninja trader multi charts and trade station so let's just zoom out a little bit on UTX and see where we are in the current trend so from these highs from the our wave five high was just tipped here we're in a bearish trend okay we can see that denoted by our false breakout uh, bars on the stochastic now two of them where we went to overbought uh, and then we came back down and we're, we've got these yellow bars again denoting very strong bearish move our multiple time frame dot cloud all red now showing we are um, you know overall bias bearish now we've had a wave four pullback against there, and that's what we're interested in right now okay so <clears throat> let's zoom in so first of all the criteria for that stock signals membership for those spreadsheets that are downloaded every day potential fifth wave move on the daily time frame so, so what does that mean so we have the wave four pullback against the main trend it has found resistance in our green pullback zone so these are automated um, pull probability uh, pullback zones and this green zone represents 85 percent probability if that resistance is found in this green zone We've got an 85% probability it's going to go on and hit our automated target zone down here around about $96. So looking very good there. The next is the 535. This is the, the performance of that wave for how it's behaved. Now we can see it's pulled back just between the 90 and the 140% on the stochastic there, which is good. Uh, sorry, on the 535 oscillator. The stochastic. We've got the false breakout at the bottom. It's pulled back against that, crossed over in the overbought zone. The likelihood is it wants to return to that main bearish trend. And our multiple time frame dot cloud, which is part of our um, breakout indicator suite, that shows us all, including our monthly time frame, all below our EMA cloud, this cloud you see on the chart here. So on all those time frames going down from the daily, the two daily, the four daily, the weekly, everything all red. So really strong bearish move potentially here. So let's go fill the entry. So we've got the entry at 107.96. We have got earnings before the vowel today. So we could get a bit of a gap down here. So I've gone conservative with the entry at 107.96. So you've got to be aware of this on um, the pre-market uh, session just to see how much that does gap down if it's poor earnings. Uh, we've got the stop loss 115.05 and then the target around $96. So the one strategy, if this is going to gap down quite a bit, still put your uh, entry, short entry, 107.96, but put a, um, a stop limit order on plus or minus, I don't know, 40 cents or something like that. It's quite an expensive stock. Um, so if it does gap down and blip back up into that range of your stop limit order, you'll still get taken into the short there. Okay, so very, very simple setup from our stocks uh, signals membership. We've also got that earnings play into today as well. So this is a daily time frame for UTX going short. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.